lesson morning children today we are going to check the answers for our third unit lesson robinson crusoe discovers the footprint take page number 52 along with your pencil and listen to the video in our today's video we are just going to check the answers if you have written anything wrong you can change it see the first one what made robinson crusoe think that the print on the ground was a footprint robinson crusoe thought that the print was a footprint because it had toes heel and all parts of a foot so it merely looks like a human footprint next why was robinson afraid when he looked at the bushes and trees he was afraid because he mistook every bush and every tree to be a man Why did Robinson pray when he saw the footprint? Robinson thought it was the print of a savage. He was afraid that savages would kill and eat him. So he prayed for protection. So we know that savage means the wild one. He thought that the print was that savage and he prayed for protection. Next, choose the correct answer. Robinson ran back to his home as fast as he could. because he option a was raising option b was afraid option c was in a hurry to go home yes obviously option b was afraid so robinson crusoe was running back to his house because of his fear next he could not sleep because option a there was an animal outside his cave option b he thought savages had come from the mainland option c his bed was uncomfortable yes he thought savages had come from the mainland next why was robinson crusoe sure that was not his footprint option a it didn't look like a human footprint option b it looked smaller than this option c he had not come to this part of the beach in a long time Option C is the correct answer. He had not come to this part of the beach in a long time. Next, where was Robinson Crusoe? Option A on a boat, option B in a town, option C on an alone an island, option D on an aeroplane. Yes, he was alone in an island. Next, let's write the words in the sentences are jumbled. Write them in order. one is done for you see the first one alone was not robinson and island on so here there are jumbled words you have to arrange those jumbled words to get a meaningful sentence see the answer robinson was not alone on an island next one was island the inhabited so the correct answer is the island was inhabited so there is the first one island was inhabited so this is the correct answer the island was inhabited next one footprint to someone this belonged so this footprint belonged to someone i around me looked i looked around me i went the towards footprint large i went towards the large footprint was afraid i nuff nuff i was afraid so we have to arrange those words to get the meaningful sentences check your answers if you did anything wrong you can change it next fill in the blanks with the correct word so in the yellow box they have given you four words you have to pick the correct word to fill the dashes given in the sentences see the first one i was afraid sorry i was frightened dash curious i was frightened but curious i decided to go to the beach dash i went along the water's edge i decided to go to the beach so i went along the water's edge i ran as fast as i could because i was frightened i was very tired and confused next one write a story on strange footprints so this is purely on your own you can write anything but this one i have written you can check this where did you see the footprints 
What sort of a day was it? Did you see them at night? What happened when you followed the footprints? What did you see? What happened then? So these are the hints they have given you to write a story on the strange footprints. So let us see the story which I have written. One day I was wandering in the garden. I saw small footprints on the ground. I saw them in the evening and that time weather was pleasant. I was confused and saw them again and again. Then after I decided to follow them. It ended in a small hole. There I found four baby kittens. I was happy to see them. I stayed there for a long time and played with them. Next, use the joining words given below and join the sentences in column A and B. So in the yellow box they have given you some words and in the column A they have given you some set of uh, question sorry some set of sentences and in column B they have given you some set of sentences so you have to merge them by connecting by using those connecting words given in the yellow box so let us see this first one i can sing well but i can't dance at all she wore a raincoat because it was raining we may go to shimla or we may go to darjeeling he wanted a book and a football for his birthday next fun time look at the print shown here hint this is the footprint of the first man on the moon his name was neil armstrong so he is the first one to land in moon and his name is neil armstrong next let's create a pyramid use the following clues a two letter word beginning with b a three letter word beginning with c a four letter word beginning with d a five letter word beginning with e and a six letter word beginning with f so all those words which i have created is on my own you can write anything that is fine next Let's work in pairs. Have a conversation with your partner based on the picture given below. You can start as this is also purely on your own whatever you have written if the sentence is correct that is correct don't change anything. Look at the footprints in the mud. It might it must be an animal. Hunter one how can you say it? See the footprints are going in. Yes you are correct. Let's shoot it. No 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 it's illegal then what are you waiting for let's run so these are the conversation between two hunters you can write anything no issues then your today's homework is you have to uh, write those question answers in your class work note take your english class work note write today's date alphabets and page number write neatly to get your attendance use black pen for writing the questions and write the answers in blue pen I hope you enjoy this session. Thank you. Let us meet in next session. Thank you.